Hey everybody, it's Brooke with The Buttered Home. Welcome to Messy Kitchen Monday. Tonight we have week two of our back to school made easy with your lunch recipe. Now, whether you have kids or not, sometimes this time of year, everything gets a little more hectic because a lot of you might have grandchildren, nieces and nephews, or you might have older kids that are involved in a lot of different things starting in early fall, late summer. So this is a really good idea, not just for people who have kids going back to school, but for people whose lives just get busy in general. So tonight I'm really excited because this is one of my absolute favorite dishes. <laughs> and I'll give you three guesses why. If you see the, uh, for my Facebook people, if you see on here, you'll know why. What's the first ingredient listed? and that's bacon so like i always say bacon makes everything better <clears throat> so we are going to get started because this is super easy i didn't have to make any in advance because when i mix it up it will literally be ready to eat right then of course it's always better after it sits in the fridge for a little while and chills but if you're in a pinch, in a hurry, have a busy weeknight planned, you can totally come home and prep really quickly and mix it up and eat and run. So this will save you a lot of time and money. So this recipe is a lot like ones that we feature on the Busy Gals Cooking Club. And if you are interested in joining that, it's $9.99 a month. After we get done, I'll link in the comments on Facebook how to join for my Instagram people. You can simply go to my link in profile and there will be a sign up for the Busy Gals Cooking Club there <clears throat> as well. So what I've done is I have boiled a 16 or 12 ounce box of these pretty bow tie pasta. And I have boiled them just until they're done, like about seven or eight minutes. They're a little al dente. So they don't have any crunch left to them, but they're really springy and nice. And when I drain them, I rinse them really well with cool water so they would stop cooking. And then I drizzle just a little bit of olive oil on them to keep them from sticking. Now you don't necessarily need the olive oil if you're coming right in to mix all this up. But because these had to sit for a minute until 7.30, I did drizzle just a little olive oil. And then I have eight beautiful pieces of cooked bacon <laughs> that will be our protein for this wonderful meal. And also we have some really fun cubed cheese, not shredded cheese, cubed cheese, because this is gonna add texture and body to our pasta salad. And y'all, I'm just gonna tell you, these little steam packs of vegetables, they are absolutely great. And I love them because in about five minutes, you can pop it in the microwave and then you can drain it if need be and then use it in whatever application or just for a side if you like. So in your microwave in about five minutes, these steam fresh packs are fantastic. So y'all know I love scratch my cooking, but I also work for a living. So it's not always feasible to come home and cook a roast and homemade biscuits and all that good stuff that's really good. I reserve that for Sundays. So a lot of times on our weeknights, it's kind of crazy in here. And a lot of times we have cereal. <laughs> a lot of times we have leftover night or fend for yourself night. But this is a great little easy dish you can have anytime. And it makes a huge amount of pasta salad. So for me, I'll be taking this to eat for lunches at work. And if you have kids, the cute little uh, cheese cubes along with the pasta and the bacon they'll get really excited for that and you sneak these veggies in and they'll never know that they're getting their vegetables so that's a win for everybody so the first thing we're gonna do and all of the measurements will be on the recipe recipe blog later in the week just like normal so when I mix it up tonight I'm just gonna be talking in general terms but we have some sour cream which is gonna be our dressing base. And I have just enough in here, so I'm not gonna dirty up a dish. I'm gonna mix everything in here. So we are going to add in some Duke's mayonnaise. 
And y'all know I love Duke's mayonnaise. There is no, uh, no better mayonnaise and they don't pay me to say that. I'm just telling you because I'm being for real. And then I've got about an ounce of ranch seasoning. Now, I've got a surprise for you all. Probably next month, I'm gonna teach you how to mix your own ranch seasoning. But this is store-bought buttermilk ranch dip seasoning. And you can buy it in a pouch, which is usually more than an ounce. So I always recommend that you measure out an ounce. And um, an ounce ends up being probably around two tablespoons. Uh, I have this handy dandy little shot glass measurement and I love it because I can measure uh, by the ounce or tablespoon in it as well as milliliters. So it goes all in and then we're just gonna mix those three things together. So you have a ranch base for this. If you have kids, picky eaters, Probably most of them like ranch. <laughs> so there you go, there's another win for you. And then I'm not gonna put this in a fancy dish because it is going to be for me to eat off of. So I'm gonna put it in my trusty, probably 24 year old Tupperware. And uh, I'm going to just put my bow tie pasta in first. And like I said, boiling the pasta and cooking the bacon takes the most time. So once you get those things done, everything else is just a matter of mixing up. So we're gonna take our dressing and we're gonna pour that over the top. And I'm gonna make sure I get all that yummy goodness in there because it's gotta go a long way. And then I'm just gonna take my pasta and I'm just gonna kinda toss it in the dressing. Now, at this stage, it's gonna look like a lot of dressing, but we're not through. And it is Messy Kitchen Monday, so you know I'm liable to sling some pasta somewhere. So if you're just joining us tonight, we are making bacon ranch pasta. This is a great lunch idea whether you have kids or you're just a busy person, because it can, there's really little or no cooking involved. And it's got bacon in it. <laughs> if this is your first time joining us, I know that on the Facebook page, we have a lot of new people with us. So if you have any questions, if we're not able to get to them while we're putting all this together, be sure, go ahead and ask them in the comments. Tell us where you're watching from and then we will get back to you as soon as we get done. So now I'm going to add in my cheese, all of it, every last bit of it, <clears throat> and toss that around. And that's gonna soak up some of that dressing as well. And that cube cheese, not shredded, adds really a different type of texture to it. My mom makes a broccoli salad with cube cheese in it, and it's one of my favorites. <laughs> then we're going to add in about a teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. And this recipe does call for salt, but what I do is I use every bit of the salt that it calls for in my pasta water because if you're going to flavor your pasta, that is the best time to do it is while it's cooking. So I used every bit of salt in my pasta water. So when the pasta came out, it was already good and flavored and there's not that surface salt. The salt is in the pasta. Now we're going to take our bag and I'm just gonna drain it. Just gonna squeeze out any liquid of our vegetables and pop it the rest of the way open. And put our vegetables in. And toss that in 
Just give it a quick little turn. And look how pretty that is. Just that little vegetable medley and I'm throwing food everywhere. It is Messy Kitchen Monday, right? <laughs> Adds a whole big pop of color. And now the best part, the bacon. Now, if you wanted to take the time to chop this up, you could. You could take your kitchen shears and you can just pop it in there or you can simply just rip it with your hands and that way you have all different sizes of pieces of bacon in there. So it's one of those dishes like, oh, I got a big piece of bacon. Oh, I got just the right size piece of bacon. Oh, that tasted like a little bit of bacon. So you can, you have all of the different elements of bacon that you would need. All right, let me clean up just a little bit because I have gotten bacon and dressing all over me. And then we're just gonna toss that. And gosh, aside from desserts, I think this is the first recipe I've done without onions in a while, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, last week's didn't have onions. Casserole. Yeah, didn't have onions. So there we go. We got us a pretty plate. And we're just going to pile that goodness right up on there. And now if you wanted to, you could garnish this with a little bit of parsley. I think I'll do that just to add some color. And you have a quick and easy meal ready to go and all ready for you. It's fantastic and it is so yummy delicious. And like I said, you can make this tonight and it will be ready and probably even a little bit better for you, uh, better tasting for you tomorrow. Well, I'm not gonna, we're not gonna say it's good for you because it probably isn't. <laughs> I'll let you be the judge of that. <laughs> uh, I always try to put an estimated calorie amount on my recipes. I'm not a dietitian, so I don't claim to be one. But based on the ingredients that I put in my estimator, I will always try to tell you about what the calories are. And while this is not as bad as some things you could eat, it's not diet either. <laughs> But there you have it. That is bacon pasta salad, and it is fantastic. So we're not gonna keep you any longer, but be back next Monday. Oh, wait, I was supposed to give a report on how Reagan did her first day of school. She did great. She was up before 5.30. She was up this morning at 5.30. So I need for everybody to drop a comment and say, way to go, Reagan, keep it up for the rest of the school year. <laughs> give it a week. <laughs> Tanner said she gives it, some, gives it a week. Well, we're not gonna take wagers or anything, <clears throat> but all my Facebook people, um, be sure and give this video to your friends. Uh, I throw caution to the wind. Share this video so that more people can sign up to join us on Monday nights. And this recipe will drop at thebutteredhome.com. Until then, if you want to see some other great ones, give us a visit over there. And be sure you sign up for our email list on there. We have lots of fun things on there from time to time. And we would love for you to come back next Monday night because we're going to be doing a snack. And it's a good snack. And it's probably healthy compared to some snacks that you could have. So we're really excited about that as we continue our month with Back to School. And from the buttered home to your home, as always, we love y'all. Bye.